All right, here we are in a beautiful Andes, Texas afternoon. It's nice to be inside and cool. We're handling several cars in a collection. This is one of them we're able to shoot inside. Just got too hot outside this afternoon and we got a lot of the other cars put away. Really neat. Whistle Street, 1958 Chevy Impala. This car's received a body off restoration. We're gonna get more details as we go back to Spud's garage as far as time and that kind of thing. When you do 11 cars in a number of days, there's no way you can cover everything. So if you go to spudsgarage.com, we have a lot of still photos where we cover a lot. All the trim and bright work on this car is really nice. It's finished in a, a jet black factory style color. Professional quality paint job. Um, and nice, the car's whistle straight. As far as the age of the paint, I couldn't tell you. You could pick it for a few flaws here and there, like you can with some cars. The car's got about three or 4,000 miles on it, uh, from according to the odometer. So it was probably set to zero when it was restored. The floor pans are black and, and uh, finished, one, so it's a rotisserie style restoration. Nice car, factory tricolor style interior, red tricolor. Um, I think that's what they called that, tricolor anyway. Uh, you look at the emblems and down the side here, it's a really straight body. They've got it sitting pretty low right now. I'd recommend it getting up just a little bit higher. I've done recommended that to the shop because it's a little tight on the front end. Um, I noticed a little rubbing on the front. They've got custom suspension on it, which is uh, the Ride Tech uh, strong arm suspension, front and rear, all the, all the engineered stuff with the uh, adjustable coilovers in the front here, disc brakes, really, really high tech stuff that's nice. So that makes these big old cars handle better and almost like a big old slot car. I think I said that on the undercarriage video, which I did before I did this. A um, lot of money to restore one of these cars, and, and the reason is the bright work on these cars are just super expensive. I couldn't even imagine what it costs to uh, nowadays plate the nose of one of these cars. So full respect to originality. Uh, the paint on it's way better than it would have been from the factory. That's for darn sure. Kind of, again, scroll down the side here. Windshield and the glass is nice. You gotta like these hard tops. These 58 hard tops are just bitching. You don't mind me using that term. Again, it's got three, four thousand miles on. I don't know the exact age of the restoration on the car, but I'm gonna guess it's probably four or five years based on looking at it. There's not a lot of road rash or anything on the nose here. This may be an original piece here. but nice plate work on it. We've got our video light on, so you're catching it uh, uh, straight on, straight up. She holds up pretty good under the lights. It's got uh, kind of uh, GM spinner hubcaps with wide white wall tires on it. Those are a bias ply. I don't know that they're the uh, radio style. Um, that look like bias and, and again I'll get back to the shop and look like uh, look at all the specs and make some phone calls and see what they know um, get a collection there's a bunch of cars the owner of the collection is not here right now so I'm not able to pick up some of that information uh, three days here he was here the first day and we went over the cars um, again the dash it's a padded dash on the car it's been restored the dash itself I don't think this is a reproduction trim on the dash but it could be um, kind of a ha ha halo effect or I don't know how you say that but it looks factory to me the tricolor interior is nice red carpet car does not have any wear to it at all that has the uh, I think that's an optional rear uh, armrest in the back I don't know if that was standard or not if it is I'm sure somebody will correct me all the seat trim is beautiful too headliner I'm sure that's correct, the gray or silver. The hard top on these cars are just beautiful. You just love the lines on a 58. They're a big old car. Door shuts nice. Kind of step back here and give you a feel. I'm going to pull it outside to do the photo shoot here in a few. It's the only way to get the camera right. It's hot and sunny out there. Buggy, Texas. Pretty car. Very large collection here. A lot of there are 11 of the cars out of here. We've sold some. We did it last year. We were up here. Um, 
got some mighty fine cars and they built some very fine street rods here. I believe they upgraded the suspension on the car to the ride tech stuff, the strong arm front and rear suspension. So again, hang on to the end of the video. We're definitely going to cover more uh, because we get to the underside of it. We'll cover the trunk here, the engine compartment inside, and then we'll go outside and do a quick little photo shoot of it. Good feel. Catch a plane tonight. Very high end style restoration. Somebody spent a lot of time and money restoring this car. When you put one of these big old birds on a rotisserie and uh, make the floor pans nice, uh, all that kind of stuff, it's not cheap, especially a black car. Like I said, I could probably pick it for a couple little things. There's a little tiny spot right here, but overall, very nice car. VIN numbers in the door jam where it's supposed to be. Again, dash, all OEM style stuff. The steering wheel is beautiful, it's probably been restored. Factory seating. Jam to jam restoration. Again, it's got a turbo 350 in it with a 348. Hit that again. Generator light was even working there. I don't know if you noticed that. Got vintage air conditioning. Operates from those controls there. You see the vintage AC controls on the ashtray. All right, there you have it. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to me. All right get underneath the hood here we're going to share with the under under the hood here but I don't have a lot of specs right now as far as that goes but I do know what's underneath the hood and the transmission and rear end that's in it uh, it's a 348 tri power so it's got a tri power GM two jet carburetors on it so period style uh, tri power it has uh, power steering it has as we talked about on the walk around it's got really updated suspension which is very nice and the car's resting on a body off restoration it's got a factory uh, Rear differential in it with the uh, Ride Tech, all the suspension upgrades in the rear. But a nice restoration on this car. The floor pans on the bottom are just like the engine compartment here. They're a nice black finish. Um, obviously, somebody spent a lot of time and money. The frame has been powder coated. And I'm probably repeating myself like I do sometimes. There's the data tag. Heater. It has upgraded air conditioning on it, vintage style air conditioning. Nothing super overly blingy or anything like that but this is a cool car great looking body um, anyway we'll get around maybe we'll just fire this old girl up for you so you kind of get a feel power power disc brakes in the front the generator drives the power steering here we'll fire it up it's kind of a blessing to do some of these indoors Starts right up. I was trying to reach the gas pedal, but I'll do it from out there. Couldn't get my foot around the brake pedal there. Go to the back and let you hear it run. Dual exhaust on it. We actually had it up on the lift a little while ago, so you'll have a chance to see the undercarriage if you hang on to the end of the video here. We always cover a lot. If you're a fan of Spud's Garage. Try and cover everything we see. There you go. Engine running. Talk to you soon. Hang around to the uh, little bit more in the end of the video and give us a call. All right, we're getting the trunk here and cover it for you. Nicely done uh, body off style restoration. Uh, just kind of simple in the trunk here, which is cool. That's cool, it's got carpet in it. It's got factory cardboard side panels in it. We've been underneath, so we know this car is absolutely rock solid. Um, floor pans are solid in it. 
Nice uh, restoration on it. Stock style restoration. Anyway, like I always say, hang on to the end of the video. We definitely will have more. Have a great day. All right, we got this 50 up, 58 Impala up on the lift here. Let's share the undercarriage with you. Very nice car underside here. This car has had a uh, full body off restoration and the floor pans are just uh, beautiful on this car. Uh, it's had a lot of suspension upgrades too. We'll cover, cover the floor pans here with you. The frame's actually been powder coated like a gunmetal gray. It's got a nice big dual exhaust on it. Two and a half, three inch kind of exhaust. Get up front and tell you what kind of mufflers they are. As a factory rear differential, it has all upgraded, recently upgraded Ride Tech rear suspension and front suspension in it. So it has the Ride, Ride Tech Fox shocks in it, stabilizer bars. You look at the structure that Ride Tech puts into the engineering of these X frame cars, it's just incredible. This car handled like a little uh, big old slot car. You can see they powder coated the rear differential the same color as the chassis backing plates, drum brakes in the rear, coil springs, and the gas Fox gas shocks. See the emergency brake cables are actually hooked up to. Factory uh, spin around here on you. Factory GM rear differential on it. Very nice body off restoration on this car. It's rock solid, it's shiny, there's no undercoat and hide in anything. Factory X-frame here with the carrier bearing in the center. Has a uh, GM uh, Turbo 350 automatic transmission. Good solid car. If you like 58s and you want a car that'll drive, this dude will do it. Flowmaster muffler, as I said, I'd cover that with you. Floor pans are very nice on this car. Chrome oil pan, that's a uh, turbo 350 I said, it's got a 348 underneath the hood. We get up front here, it's got the Ride Tech uh, strong arm suspension, tubular control arms, a lot of nice hardware with coilovers. Stabilizer bar here, fully adjustable, you can raise the front end up and down where you want. It's been driven since this was done. That's what these cars are designed to do. So we gave it a quick wash off here. Um, so you get a feel. Had a couple mud puddles. Has cruise control co uh, servo right here. I don't know if that works or not. But this is a professional body off style restoration on this car. Very nice. All right, there you have it. We'll take one more pass all the way down. Go to spudsgarage.com. Appreciate you coming and listening to me. Have a great day. Give us a call. We're never any pressure.